Another championship match, folks. This time, it's the Adrenaline Division title on the line. And this man has vowed to win the championship and take it back to Australia, never to be seen again. Imagine putting the entire division on notice. If I win this belt, I'm taking it to the other side of the world and you're never gonna see it again. The pressure for our champion right now is essentially to carry the entire legacy of the adrenaline division on his back. If you lose this match and all that history, all that prestige, lies so far out of reach, we may never see it again. And introducing the champion. If there's one man that can do it, that can avoid disaster. One of the fastest rising stars in DOA. Boogie Benjamin becoming one of my favorites of all time. Forget about how long he's been doing this. The ridiculously short lifespan of Boogie Benjamin is skyrocket to the top of many people's Christmas lists, if you will. So young into his career, yet so much potential. When I mean, I say potential, I mean he's fulfilling it right now. It'd be hard to hard to argue that winning the adrenaline title so early into your career isn't filling a potential. Title on the line, though, folks. There's the bell. The people want to see it. Is Aaron O'Malley going to give it to him? Something tells me maybe not. And much like Lord Stephen Farrell and Jackie Hyde were worlds apart these two kind of similar as well other than geographically boogie benjamin all about the boogie aaron o'malley a lot more serious and business-like there's a little pelvic sorcery from aj nice counter into the waist lock body scissors <laughs> I don't think this qualifies as a tap out, but have you ever seen O'Malley looking more uncomfortable than he is right now? Rolls round. Oh wait, but it's his pin one, two. Man with a kick out. Irish whip into the corner. 
Oh, floats up and floats over. Rolls through. Looking for a hip toss and O'Malley says no, puts the brakes on. Oh, and while Boogie tries to get the hips going, O'Malley just cuts him off with that short clothesline. Knocking his teeth down his throat. Irish whip, reversal from Boogie Benjamin. Pops him up. Oh, all the way to the outside and catches his jaw on the apron. That's a bad landing if you're AJ Boogie Benjamin. O'Malley slingshots up and over. Cross body. Takes down AJ. While Boogie, Boogie's rolled back in. O'Malley maybe wants to focus a little bit because right now he's giving the adrenaline champ the chance to recover, to regain his bearings. Off the ropes, suicide dive. Suicide dive from Boogie. Like a Boogie bullet. Straight to the heart of the challenger. Reversal again on the Irish whip. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, and eats the back elbow. Big forearm and a big uppercut from O'Malley. First, oh, basement clothesline into the pin. One, two. <laughs> the right reversal. Picks up. Oh, flapjack from AJ. And the, ta oh, the turntables have turned. Oh, quite curse of the commentator. Goes for the elbow drop and nobody home. Simar. Oh, backbreaker from O'Malley. Scoops him up, holds on for just a second to send that message to let the champ know who's in control right now. I thought he was going for a pin but instead no. Oh, elbow drop right to the back. And another. Aaron O'Malley looking to really wear down the adrenaline champ right now. Oh, now, now throwing some, some shapes. Another elbow drop. <laughs> Again, sets him up for the Irish. Oh, hard Irish whip. Sends him into those turnbuckles. The ring just shifted a few feet. Into the pin. Kick out at two though. AJ Boogie Benjamin still fighting. Fighting to keep that belt round his waist. Into the corner, picks him up. Another backbreaker from O'Malley. Into the pin. One, two. O'Malley really looking to, to put the hurt on that spine of AJ. Essentially, where's the rhythm in your hips if you can't feel your spine? And then just to make matters even worse, 
sitting into that cloverleaf. Cloverleaf locked in. Boogie's back worked on through the entirety of this match. Pain searing up and down the spine as Aaron O'Malley sits into this cloverleaf and AJ Boogie Benjamin scratching and clawing his way towards the ropes. AJ getting back to his feet, trying to feel the rhythm and O'Malley just cutting him off. And Boogie starting to feel it, trying to get that adrenaline rush, feeding off the energy of the crowd here at the drill hall. O'Malley just continuing, continuing to put the knees into the spine. And now head for the stick. Oh, out of the way. And Boogie now back to his feet. And now Boogie's turn to go to work. And now that left leg of Aaron O'Malley seemingly the target. Close line from Benjamin and another. His back really feeling it all. Went for a belly to back suplex, but his yeah, back gave out. The ropes. Oh wait, nobody home. Picks him up. Oh, front face buster. Rolls him into the pin. One, two. Oh, kick out from O'Malley. Boogie Benjamin climbing to the top rope. Oh, it's a right hand from O'Malley. And a forearm. Aaron O'Malley climbing up. This is a bad place to be if you're the Adrenaline Division champ. Huge superplex from the heavens. And Boogie Benjamin comes crashing down onto that sore back. One, two. Oh, kick out at two and nine tenths. Yeah, it's Aaron O'Malley's turn to climb up. Number one contender comes flying in, but wait. Boogie Benjamin ducks out the way. Oh, running leg lariat. Boogie Benjamin fighting through the pain. Climbs up top. Oh, but O'Malley cuts him off. Again, legs repositioned. O'Malley has something in mind, and again, it's not going to be good for AJ. AJ holds on. And again. Back elbows. Shoves him off, and O'Malley now in the danger zone. AJ Boogie Benjamin turns it around. Goes high. Frog splash. Frog splash from AJ1. Two, three, and the boogie continues in the adrenaline division. Aaron O'Malley gave it a good shot. But Boogie able to fight through the pain. And the adrenaline division champ letting the adrenaline soar through his veins. Hit that picture perfect frog splash. And we will be celebrating Christmas 
with a boogie. And with performances like that, that belt may not be going anywhere for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, 